Assalamualaikum and have a good day. Next, I will present about our second assignment which is visual string mapping. The company that we choose is McDonald. So here, I will tell you guys a little about what is VSM and the background of the company that we choose. First of all, um, you can create a comprehensive diagram of all steps in your work process with the value stream mapping process. It is a reflection of the movement of products through via company from the supplier to the client. A value stream map shows all the critical steps taken to produce value from start to finish in your work process. It helps you to imagine each task your team is working on and offer single status updates on the progress of each task. Next, uh, McDonald Corporation is an American fast food com company in California. Uh, founded in 1940 as a restaurant owned by Richard and Maurice McDonald. As a hamburger stain, they recreate their company and later convert the company into a franchise with the Golden Arches logo being unveiled at a location in Poinex, Arizona in 1953. McDonald's is the largest restaurant chain in the world by sales serving more than 69 million customers daily as of 2018 in over 100 countries. Although McDonald's is best known for its hamburgers, cheeseburgers, french fries, french fries, chicken products, breakfast items, soft drinks, milkshakes, and many more. The company has introduced salads, seafood, smoothies, and fruit to its menu in response to shifting customer preferences and a negative backlash due to the unhealthiness of their products. So that's all from me. Thank you. Hi, my name is Nuru Fadatamadila. Okay. I will explain the value stream mapping that we have provided, which is a um, McDonald's production control. You can see from the diagram, um, McDonald's will, uh, will do weekly for forecast which is can help them to place order to the supplier for their raw material for the product they have provide for the customer as you can see from the picture a diagram given um, you can see that um, mcdonald's daily schedule is they have six firstly they will receive order from customer and then the worker will roast the pan, the bread, um, then they are cook the meat for the burger or the product, and, and then they will assemble the um, double cheeseburger for the customer. After that, they will cook the fries, which act as side dish, and the last one is they will assemble the finished product um, um, the worker will assemble the pod, um, the finished order to customer at the counter and the customer can take the order from the counter um, customer have provided a daily order to McDonald's and the daily order become monthly forecast for McDonald's company so that um, the company can come up with uh, production control which can satisfy, can satisfy their customer as a conclusion um, value stream mapping is very important because it can make the process of finish the product um, become more efficient and other than that um, worker will have can save time in preparing order the order from customer so that um, customer will be satisfied with their service hi everyone before we end our presentation i would like to share with you a little bit more about our value stream mapping diagram so as you can see in the diagram actually from supplier to 
the customer this flow we call it information flow and from the daily schedule to all the process and the process time here we call it material flow or production flow okay so in the diagram we have six processes in mcdonald production control so the first process which is receive order this process involves only two operators and takes time around 20 seconds assuming that all the 20 seconds is value added cycle time so this 20 seconds also represents 0 0.333 minutes which gets from 20 seconds divided by 60 minutes okay the next process is toast break and this process involves four operators four operators and this process takes time around 30 seconds assuming that all the 30 seconds is value added cycle time and 30, sec 30 seconds also represents to 0 0.5 minutes okay the next process is called meet and this process involves only two operators and this process takes time around one minute so the process time here is one minute okay the next process is assemble burger which involves only two operators and takes time around 10 seconds and all the 10 seconds is value added cycle time so 10 seconds also represents to 0 0.167 minutes which gets from 10 seconds divided by 60 minutes okay now this is the process where we can see the difference uh, between or compare with the previous processes it is a little bit different uh, compared with the uh, previous processes now Cook fries involves only one operator, but the cycle time takes around 3 minutes. However, we can see here the value added cycle time only 20 seconds. We consider that the rest of the time is the waiting time. Wait the food to be cooked. So, here the value cycle time only 20 seconds. The rest of the time is non-value added cycle time. So the line here we call it process time. So uh, the last process is assemble meal, and this process involves two operators. Why we do not add the cycle time here is because this is the last process in the production control so it no need to uh, add or sum the sum up the cycle time in the last process okay okay so now we can see that the total cycle time in mcdonald production control is five minutes how we get the five minutes is when we sum up all the process time here and the total value added cycle time which means that the time that have taken to create value to the customers is only 2.167 minutes when we get total cycle time 5 minutes minus total value added cycle time which is 2.167 minutes we can get the non-value at the cycle time is around 2.833 minutes so meaning that mcdonald only takes 2.167 minutes to create value to the customers 
Okay. So there's one more thing is, uh, we can see here the McDonald daily orders, daily customer demands is about seven hundred orders per day. So this per day we do not consider it twenty four hours, but only eight working hours, which also equals to four hundred and eighty minutes. So tag time. What is the tag time? Tag time is the maximum acceptable time to meet the demands of the customers. In other words, tag time also equals to the speed with which the product needs to be created to satisfy the needs of the customer. Meaning that if McDonald wants to reach seven hundred orders per day. It can only take zero point six nine minutes to finish one order to the customer in eight hours working time, lah. All right. So this is the um basic value stream mapping. In a manufacturing, or we can say in a production process. So hopefully you can uh, understand it and learn something from this diagram. Thank you so much.